welcome again if you're new and returning to Saviors d and um, We are back after a week's hiatus um, for our normally weekly Dungeons & Dragons stream following the adventures of the Redwall Saviors. Um, as ever, we'd be really grateful if you follow us here at twitch.tv slash Saviors d and if you haven't already, and also our links for our Twitter and our YouTube where we post our VODs in more bite-sized places are below the stream so it'd be great for any followers there as well and um, we are also twitch affiliates so if you feel like subscribing to us or if you have your amazon prime available and um, you can do that here as well and we are giving away a copy of icewind dale enhanced edition and um, drawn from anyone that has subbed to us up until the 28th of october so that's next sunday and we'll either do that at the midway point of the stream or at the end of the stream. We're not quite sure where we're going to be at that point, but uh, we'll do that then. Um, right, we also have some news since last time is that we now have a sponsor for the stream from uh, Libris Arcana, and they are a great store that sells dice and um, other sorts of accessories. They particularly have some really lovely um, leather covers for D&D books and things like that. And we also have a code. Um, if you sign up to one of their dice subscriptions, either monthly or quarterly with no um, no tie-in, um, you put in the code SAVIORS and you'll get 25% off your first month or quarter. So good. Thank you very much. Very much appreciate working with them and they're sponsoring the stream. So we'll have some giveaways and things in the future, but we'll get the current giveaway out of the way before we talk about that. So, without any further ado, let the players introduce their characters. Who is revved up and wanting to go first today? I'm going to let you choose yourselves. Right, me, you blinked me, me. first there, Emeros. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was so subtle about it. All right. I'm, I'm Emeros, and I play the Yonti uh, Druid slash Warlock Sirik, and uh, he is currently stuck on a roof that's burning quite a lot, I believe, by now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. On okay. to the next. Um, yes, I play Salir. My name is Jabberwocky. Uh, <laughs> I, too, am on the burning <laughs> roof. I'm a barbarian. A barbarian. I Boom. went unconscious like five times last game. <laughs> you did do that. You are pale. I am also a half vampire, and my intelli intelligence score is 12. My wisdom score is 12. My charisma score is 10. Mm -hmm. My deck score is 12. Yeah. Okay. And the other two are 16. Yeah. Okay. Only the really important yeah. information, guys. You know. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Only the stuff I can read on the front title screen. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Next! Uh, I'm Dambro. I'm playing Alton. Um, Alton is a small gnomish fey child boy man thing. He's uh, usually, <laughs> he's got like red sort of spiky hair, ruffled hair. Um, and he, at the moment, is on top of this roof, which, listen, May or may not have set it on fire. We don't know. Um, may or may not have been two separate fireballs. We don't know is the main thing that <laughs> I'm getting across here. Um, oh, the dice! The dice say we do know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> poor little champ got got Where a bit. Did you get those dice from? Poor little guy got a bit stressed out last time, um, and he uh, actually had has gone through a little bit of a metamorphosis, where he is yes. now more akin to uh he looks just a lot wilder but he looks no much but he's got like his hair grew out as a uh, wild magic surge went through him um and yeah and he's a mute bird but he actually started he was speaking and things it's very strange very weird let's find out yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. last everyone. by no means least mr mm. terrorblades oh no he's yes. least he's least yeah Oh, by I've got to stream with them twice a week, so I can't see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they spend the most time with me. 
I I am ashamed for myself and everybody else. No, the uh, I play Marak the Water. I'm a human cleric of Joaquin, and I'm currently on the street with uh, her protector, uh, Garvin, the dwarven fighter. And uh, they just watched their forces crush the uh, drought that we've been fighting. Now they're just kind of uh, enjoying the night air, not knowing the fire inside. So, as as uh, as you have all sort of alluded to, um, last time we the, the party settled down for what they thought was a nice relaxing night before considering their next steps in trying to uncover the location off and rescue the overgolds for uh, the the temple of Joaquin, which is Mara's um, religion. Um, and they were very rudely awoken in the depth of the night. Uh, it was rude. A huge yeah. assault of drow was taking place. Um, once you became aware of the situation and fought off the initial wave that were inside the building and had a look outside, you could see and hear that there were clashes going on around the building as well, that the um, shield coins, the defenders of Joaquin, were engaged in, in, in battles in the street as well. Um, there was a, a vicious, vicious uh, fight in the Overgold suite where you were protecting Elazir Zaz, the Overgold's wife and her son. Um, she being a magic user of no small note herself, managed to dimension door away with her son, telling you that she was going to um, appear in the, the central barracks of the shield coins so that that was where she felt was the, the safest place within range of her spell. <clears throat> um, you killed uh, another priestess and many of her minions did away with some uh, maw demons that had been summoned by a wizard who appeared on the roof and when you went up onto the roof to confront him you found the um the lieutenant of the silken woe that you had previously uncovered the name of who was called dro um, and he was there with some of his slightly hardier um i suppose you would call the bodyguards um and another vicious fight ensued, specifically between Selyr and Alton and Sirik. Mara went to help Darwin, who had tried to climb onto the roof to help, but had fallen into a, a melee of, of drow below. But uh, with Mara's help, they were quite swiftly dispatched. Um, Should note, she, she was actually trying to get up on the roof, but she failed to get up. So oh, that's I, how thought she went you, down. I thought you chose. I thought you chose to help Garvin rather than it was Garvin that fell, and then chose to help Garvin rather than Mara. Then fell on Garvin. top of Garvin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I should probably yeah. tell Garvin that. But I, I, she you tried to get up to Garvin help, and you when you were both in your underwear. Um, oh yeah, that happened. I forgot about that. I wonder yeah. if Dan actually ever did that. That romance door. <laughs> let's ignore. Let's yeah. ignore. I said everything. So. <laughs> Drow, uh, Drow, sorry, and his uh, his bodyguards have been dispatched. As uh, Salir said, he has been knocked down and revived several times with the uh, healing word. And with both a fireball that was detonated down below in the Overgold's office and another one on the roof, there is a bit of, of, of fire on the roof, but it's, it's not dreadful, you think quite easy to put the fire out that's up here but all of you without having to make any um form of role can hear that the overgold quarters below are now rampant with fire there is a, a breeze there is a breeze in the air that is blowing through the broken windows and driving this opulent um rich uh flat, I suppose you would call it, apartment, and there is a mighty conflagration below, and there is a, that roar of, of flame that you only get when it's really uh, getting... Uh... Do we hear any of any motion like people going in to try and put them out or anything? 
at this moment in time, there are still small pockets of um, fighting with the main, the the, the more the, the main drow force, which yeah. is just starting to uh, retreat. Um, but by and large, no, there is no move to. They may not be aware of it in the height of battle as well. Um, sure, this- but as long as they don't know where it came from, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I think Mara might yes. be a bit annoyed with me. Now, um, unfortunately, I cleared the initiative order last time, and I shouldn't have done. It was it's so, me next? I think. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to. Time. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to continue. Do you, do you remember roughly what order you were in? It was Sierra was ahead Alton. of me. Then, then yes. me, and it was my go, and then, yeah. then oh god. Then it gets confusing. Then I'll just put then I'll put Salir and then Mara and Garvin. There is and a clip on YouTube. Yes. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry. It's not the end of the world. Um we're sort of out of combat anyway, but this yeah, is presumably the next few moves matter. <laughs> they do, but it, it doesn't really matter what order you go in because sure. um there's no enemies here to be yeah. thing. So um so um Alton in that case. What so do you wish you are atop the building mm-hmm. there are dead drow scattered around yes. there's um flames licking the roof which although would be quite easy to put out you do know as well that if they aren't put out then they will add to the obvious uh, raging inferno from below mm-hmm. um and you see your compatriots Siric and Selir as well uh-huh. Uh, well, I think Adam at this moment in time is not quite himself. Um, mm-hmm. um, and he will be sort of uh, walking and walking over the, the various bodies looking um, and he he's going to go look for that wizard who initially bamfed up here. He's going to try and get that ring off him. Yep, that, yeah, uh, that's not a problem. Um, you can quite easily um, find him on the roof and Give me an investigation check. Okay. Gotta move my mic. Look, finding the ring will be very easy because you've told me that's what you're looking but for. You, I might see something else. Investigation check yeah. just in case there may be something that yeah. brings to mind. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. He has the staff of fire extinguishing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is 25. Okay. 20. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I'm wrong. I'm bad at math. It's 23. No. Yeah, it's, it's above 20. So. Terrible. Yeah. You obviously get the ring that um, you were looking for. Yes. Um, and you recognize it to be very similar, if not exactly the same as the one that and you And I saw previously. it used as well. So. And you saw it used as well, yeah. yeah. That you saw gifted, that you've gifted the other one to Salir so far. Yeah. And you used all three charges in one night. <laughs> you <did>. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're new to magic items, you know. <laughs> uh, you also find um, a superior healing potion. Uh, you have one left that he hadn't managed to use before you killed him. <laughs> um, you also find so just uh, so ring of misty step. Misty step. Yeah. yeah, three charges. Superior. Well, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't know if it's exactly the same or not. It may okay. be, it may be inferior or it may be better. Um, but oh, cool. Um, and superior you, you'll healing. find out soon enough. Yep. Superior healing. Um, what is Alton's interaction with coinage these days? Because there is two hundred gold on the body, but would he bother? Is it magic? You don't know. To to, in this in this in this situation when you don't have the time to properly look and appraise, you you definitely can't tell. Listen, any magic. whatever version of Alton that he is right now, he's even further away from <laughs> what what would be presumed to be a normal. I yeah. put I put it to you this way: he's like a bloodhound for magic items right now, and he's just yeah. doing that. So if, uh, the healing potion, absolutely, that always comes in handy. Mm-hmm. Things like money. Um, even if there was like a letter or something like that, the, he would probably the, miss it. The, the other or not care. magical things it would bring to his mind is there are two scrolls. Okay. Okay. Two scrolls. Okay. Of burn. Again, at this at this at this, <laughs> yeah, oh, at no. this moment oh. in time, you, you don't know what the contents of them are is. Uh, 
you obviously understand what scrolls are and how they're used yep. by wizards, but uh, they'll be both in, put into his inner jacket pocket. Uh, he'll put the ring straight on, and uh, yeah, um, you were saying that I was looking at Salir and I was looking at Siric. At this moment in time, the three of you on the roof do not know where Mara and Garvin are. <laughs> For all, for all you know, they are still down below in the Overgold Suite, burning to death. Mm. <laughs> um, but I would say that was your movement and your main action. So yeah. if you've got anything that's a bonus action, then um, feel free. Well, um, I mean, as a bonus action, if that's it. no, if I've used my movement, never mind. I was just going to walk to the edge of the. No, I think I think you can use no. the movement with doing all of that. So. No problem. <clears throat> also, I feel like I feel like Elton wouldn't be moving in a straight line. He'd be no, like he's going it, side it, to side. It, he's hopping around yeah. the place. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he's actually like, even though he still just has his normal movement, he's. It seems like he's just more energetic or something. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Invigorated. Mm -hmm. Um, Sirik, um, you are next. We can right. just do. We can just do roof crew, ground crew. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> roof crew. Yeah, that sounds good. Unless somebody hops down. Uh, <laughs> that Gore. I, I can't remember his name. Gore. Draw. 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 D R. Just, just think yeah. Draw with without the W. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. I was uh, feeling particularly creative. I was. I was going to say. <laughs> <that's something laughs> I said oh, that might sound right. super snotty the, the, if I the, did. The other antagonists have got better names, so don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Sister Haig. <laughs> no, I would like to just to run over and see if he got anything that I can help. Okay. Or anything, um, anything at all. He was a sort of a beefy draw, a beefy draw rather. So. Yeah. It's potential. He had a pretty cool breastplate, but it's super hot, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. got the fire gear. and the flames. He's got rogue gear, so it won't work for any of us. It won't work for Sarek. I, I could wear rogue okay. gear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> investigation. No, class restriction so, rogue. Um, as uh, Alton's already told you, he has a breastplate on him. He is carrying a rapier, very finely crafted, um, beautiful looking weapon. Um, and he also has a um, hand crossbow. Um, now, the hand crossbow looks particularly draws your, your attention as it um, seems to have a double action um, where it has, it's almost almost like an upper and a lower chamber, so you can have two bolts um, at one time. Um, inlaid, he, he, he's obviously used it uh, to keep tabs of something because there's like marks crossed down the side of it. <laughs> Um, is Droll played oh, by you... Norman Reedus? <laughs> no, he's <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Might be, actually, yeah. yeah and sweet. it's got um, some very beautiful silver inlay on the handle. Um, he also, with a 17, he's also carrying um, about 230 silver and 80 gold. And he has two ordinary healing potions left on his body. But again, the same with um, most of your um, encounters with these drow. They go for function because this is like a strike team. They don't yeah. have lots of the usual sort of adventuring stuff as they're out. They've just got the sort of core stuff that they would have with them. Um, he also has another two vials of the poison that you are uh, used Wait, to. I'm seeing. still poisoned, I forgot. You mm. are poisoned. You are poisoned for a full hour. <clears throat> yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'll grab what I can. Okay. That's fine. Um, that would be action and movement. Do you have any bonus action that you... Uh... No, I don't think so. Okay. It is fine. Siric, in that case. That you are... Good. Sorry, earlier. I'm, I'm dreadful. I'm very bad. <laughs> to be fair, the players trolled you with the names. 
<laughs> we did it on accident. <laughs> sure. <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, so I've been thinking about this for two weeks now. Oh, wow. This is going to be a fantastic... <laughs> I can't wait to hear this. Go on. Um, how fanciful will you let me get with my ability to shape blood? Well, in the words of the probably the most famous DM at the moment, you can certainly try anything. Okay. So... <laughs> Part of the create water spell is you can create rain in a 30 foot area. Oh, oh god, I it's figured gonna be so with fucking... the number of bodies on this roof, it's the album for a mega death or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, could I create a blood rain to put the fire out? So... Um, make me make me a vampire check, make me a vampire <laughs> check. Make, make me an intelligence check at the moment. Just a straight intelligence throw. Oh, Do I great. have any advantage? No. I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. 18. You think that you can definitely do that, Um. And it will definitely deal with the aftermath of the fireball on the roof. And will it assist a little bit with the fire inside because there's a hole in the roof that we came, that they broke in from? Mm, they came in through the windows. They came in through the oh, windows. There, the is window. no, right, right. there is no hole in the roof. Right. I mean, the, then, the roof is yes, a bit yes. <laughs> there is a, the, the roof is a bit battered and all the rest of it, but uh, so. But you yes, said last week it's, like it's an old. Down, yeah, you were saying last I, week that it's an old school, big kind of thick yes. roof, so like it's not then, like it's gonna collapse in or anything. I will do that. Yeah, you absolutely do that. So I think. How, yeah. What, what does it? What does it look like? Because this is obviously. Two weeks ago was the first time we had seen Salir's new powers, um, and this is obviously then jacked up to the ninth. So, yeah, what does it look like? And then afterwards, I want to go back to Sirik and Alton, and what are your characters' reactions as it's quite clear that Salir has caused it to rain blood? So how I remember <laughs> it was we were positioned, I was near the edge of the roof with Alton mm -hmm. fighting. So I think there's a bunch of bodies around him currently, so I think on, on to... the roof there are specifically I think six bodies. Yeah, but they're like spread out between that area and the center, roughly. Roughly, most of yeah. them are closer to the center because that's where you were fighting them initially. Mm -hmm. So I think at, he's going to walk towards the center, and as he passes by the bodies around him, like oh. all the blood gets drawn out of the bodies. Yes. Like as he's walking towards this another forming like just, a his, his hands are just trailing behind him. Yeah, like just forming like a spiral and like a ball in the air above him. And then once he reaches the center, he's getting those bodies just kind of putting it in the air and just popping it and just wave of blood down the roof. <laughs> so damn. <laughs> Satanus. And then Strad arrives and Yeah. <laughs> But I think I think it goes. I think it's in a, a column around him, so he's like not covered in blood around there. Right. So it's just a column from him in the center of the roof, and just oh my god, washes off. The one thing I will say is, in in that description, is both Siric and Alton, you will be covered in blood because you <laughs> are looting bodies that he has extracted blood from. So you are both mm. going to get like a bucket of blood sort of chucked over you effect. Um, so I, I, how do you guys react? Does anyone say anything? Does... <laughs> no, I, think, I think what, what, what Alton will do is once, once he gets uh, splashed with it, is he'll sort of like, hey. and, and then mm. he, he'll sort of go, <laughs> trying to clean himself. <laughs> Messy. I'm half expecting him to lick his lick his lip. <laughs> he just calls him messy as he walks by. <laughs> but then Alton try, tries it on on a body. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just think that Sirik's a bit. I don't know if 
to say shocked or just stunned, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Daunted. absolutely. Uh, absolutely yeah. fine. You, you you don't have to to say anything. That's not a problem. Um, bonus action, Salir. I mean, I I'm taking that as to bonus action and action to do it. All right, Just, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that that was fine. Not a problem. Um, Mara and Marvin. I'm also I'm also gonna like take a rage off because I think that's also gonna, like, just All the right, cost okay, of fine. doing that. Yeah. Um, How many rages have you? Used? Oh, I'm out. That's my fourth one. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -oh. Um, I changed my mind. No, I'm because I, I went unconscious all the time. I had to keep getting up and re rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in that case, you're right. We should have left you there. Um, yeah. Where did we place that? Thing we didn't make it yet. Me? Right. Let's do it live. <laughs> yeah, roll me a constitution check. Uh, saving throw. I think this will be a disadvantage because you're poisoned. I don't think poison affects saving throws, but I'll still do it at disadvantage if you want. Uh, bear with me. I can double check. I can double check before you do. Uh, uh, it's so only attack, attack rolls and ability checks. Right. Okay. It's not an ability check, so that's fine. Mara's reading a magazine. Four were four letters. L with dark skin. Um, eleven. <laughs> hmm. I'm kind of wow. making this up at the moment because oh, I can't far. Yeah, I didn't expect this to be happening. No, you take another level of exhaustion. Ooh. Yeah, it's acceptable. Hmm. Pretty serious. Five letters. Um. So sorry, Mara and Garvin. We did <laughs> six years, so. Uh. You said that we all heard that there's a fire. Yes, there there is a Kindling. roar, an absolute roar of flames coming out of the Overgold Suite. Uh, you're, you're about sort of 15, 20 feet below the the those windows that you tried to climb out, out of onto the roof, but you can hear, and it's very clear that there is a big fire raging in there because there's smoke and. Um, light coming out of the the. Mara will use uh, thaumaturgy to uh, uh, make her voice boom three times as loud. She will shout, uh, "Fire in the temple of Joaquin! Fire! Fire! Oh my God! Fire!" <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh... Jesus. Oh God, God, there's some flames. There's a flame in like my temple and it's like so uh and then she's totally gonna be uh Yeah. I guess after that she'll just run to mm. Would she know if there's any source of water nearby? Um roll me a history check. Uh let's find my History is a whopping. Uh, there we go. Wow, land on top of other dice. That is a twenty-one. You know that the the main river that flows through Neverwinter is the um, closest source of water, and it is several hundred meters away. Oh crap! Um. Any taverns or anything nearby? No, you are you are in you you know you are in the Protector's Enclave, sir, which is all administrative buildings, military buildings, and the the homes of um, wealthy residents and things like that. There there is no commerce or anything here other than the Temple of Joaquin itself. Crap! Uh, she will try to run into the temple. Uh, I don't know how right. far you can get. you can get to the front door of the temple using your movement, um, right. and the doors are currently closed at this moment in time. So, yeah, and I'm guessing that Garvin follows. I don't know. What do you think he would do? Well, absolutely. I mean, he's not Molotov. Gar Gar yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like these religious types. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <The revolution laughs> must come. 
um no he would he would absolutely um i mean he's yours he's yours to play you know in, yeah. in that way but he would absolutely not leave mara's side yeah <clears throat> so he he follows with okay and so she'll continue on shouting now it is the fire's turn <laughs> i i i found my my things on the rages so the so fire roll okay. initiative <laughs> yeah I, I'm just doing it at the beginning of every turn, so that's all of you had. Um, oh, okay. So you, well, Mara and Garvin don't because you've moved away, but um, Sirik and uh, Salir and Alton, you start to hear things like bottles popping. Um, things are obviously falling over and smashing below, and you can start to see from the edge of the the roof where the window that you came or where Mara and Garvin tried to come out of and where the wizard came in with the initial a lot of drow, you can start to see flames flicking up the wall and just edging over the side of the roof and black smoke pouring out of there. Um, everyone roll a perception check. 11. Actually, no, 12. Six. Um, twenty-four. Right. Four. No, sorry, I I only meant the three in the roof, Mara. Oh, sorry. sorry. Seven. Um, no, no, not none of you notice anything. <laughs> a twelve maximum. So, uh, yeah. so Alton, it's back to you. Hmm. Yeah. So I've I have I have completed. There, I there's nothing else up here that I can see that would be nice. To, to have and to well, hold. you you so what you have witnessed is you've looked at uh, the, the wizard. wizard. Sirik has looked at Dro, and there are another four um, Silken Woe assassins that have yet to be. All all that you've seen this happen is Salir suck all of the blood out of the corpses <laughs> that are now desiccated um, and pretty creepy looking. Okay. Wow. Uh yeah, well I, I mean those guys are assassins. They're not gonna be packing heat for what Alton wants. Um, he's going to head over towards the side of the building that he came up. Okay. Um, make me you a con stop. constitution. Wait, wait. No, you didn't. Did, you you did you you, uh, you dimension doored, but you mean mm -hmm. the where I described though. Um. You go over there and, you know, you, you actually can't get to where you initially want to and you have to sort of skirt around a bit to get to the edge. Um, and you can see there are very, very serious flames pouring out of that window below you. Um, the fire is obviously raging. It is well set. Um, you looking down without having to make a roll, you remember that the Overgold suite is filled with soft furnishings, curtains, there's paperwork everywhere, there's lots of alcohol spirits, um, the whole thing is just basically a petrol bomb that's mm -hmm. needed to be ignited, um, and you can see that that is happening. Um, make, uh, a, make an intelligence check. Natural 20. Oh. With a natural 20, you are certain, you don't know the time because you don't really know how fire works, but you know if the three of you do not get off that room, roof soon, it, it'll collapse and you are all going to end up in the middle of this fire very gravely um, and, and a high chance of death. Yeah, that will stroke his chin. Mm -hmm. Challenge look, fate. Look back as the sort of the flames catch his eyes and sort of light them up red um jump now he says to the other two and do you use the last sort of 10 feet of your movement to jump yourself nope. or do you wait for them wait. To... okay are you holding any sort of action because you've not actually done an action no, if oh. they if they were to jump and I was then to jump after them, I would be casting Featherfall. Right. Okay. So, so that's your. Yeah. Are, you, are you are you holding that as an action? It's a reaction. Oh, so it is. That's right. It's a reaction. To, Row? Oh, I keep forgetting that. Yeah. No, it's it's the it's the spell. I keep forgetting it's a reaction. Um. Yeah. Okay. That is fine. Um. 
In that case, Sirik is you next. Alton has just told you to jump off the roof. Alright, so how big is this roof, really? Like, how? I've seen the picture. Oh, the... I mean, the roof itself covers the entire thing. It's a huge roof. You know, it is, let me just think. I mean, it's several hundred feet across. All right, but we were sort of centered in the middle of it when we were well, having... It, well, in the center of a quadrant, because there is that sort of pergola sort of thing in the middle of the roof, but uh, mm. yes. Yeah, all right. I suppose I will just run to the closest edge myself. Mm -hmm. Which would be not far from where Alton is. Yeah, all right. Uh, and then I would use my action to uh, do a transformation that been Alton is familiar with. Been a yeah. while. Very <laughs> long. Been a while. Yes, and uh, I will transform into a big spider. Oh, okay. spider. Can... Interesting. They pop. Yes. Can you turn into a flying creature? <laughs> no. No. He's Soon. all. Oh yeah, because he's one off, right? Soon. Well, depends. On yeah, which way he goes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I forgot you multiclass. Never mind. Yes. Uh. Yeah, sir. Uh, the giant wolf spider. I think, I think Adam and... would be looking at you to see if this thing has wings. <laughs> you, you have been on top of me, climbing down a... A version of Adam was on that. That is true. That <laughs> is true. Uh, yeah, but sort of this spider just, just... It's a bit smaller than a giant, giant spider, but it's yeah. quite, quite well, I, would, I would say that by the time you get you to the edge walking, of the roof... So. By the time you get to the edge of the roof and transform, which I think a description of how Siric uh, transforms, because uh, since we've been doing the stream, nobody's actually yep. seen you transform. That is true. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is true. Uh, so yeah, but uh, but once once you once you do that, you still have half of your movement speed left at the edge of the um, edge of the roof, uh, which will be a further yeah. twenty because you've got climb speed of forty as a spider. So what does it look like when uh, Sirik changes into a giant wolf spider? So he runs over as far as he can towards the edge, and then he makes like a small skit and tr attempts to land on his hands, but during the fall down, or while in mm -hmm. the air, a couple of extra legs sprout out from his ribs. Oh. And, but they are more... It, it's not as much, like, how do you say, spiders would have those small hairs, mm -hmm. like, tiny, tiny, like, fur things, mm -hmm. but he, but instead the joints are all scaly, and, uh, oh, so yeah, the, it, the wanty nature is still quite obvious, is it? Yes, so, but then he just starts to climb down the wall. Okay, you guys. As they, it's, it's about you're about spider sixty snake. feet up at the moment, so you get 20, 20 feet down. Um, yeah, right. Make a perception check because you're probably going to pass some windows. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> Let's see, perception. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm not on the wrong right screen. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Another seven. Nah, it's just oblivious to anything today. No, it's not. No, fourteen. Never mind. Fourteen, not seven. Yeah. Um, I think that's enough for you. You have a look in the windows. Um, and you are looking in to one of the windows on the <clears throat> as we are looking at the building at the moment on roll 20 on the right hand side um and there are starting to be flames coming under the door that uh, you are looking into the room there um, from the main room mm. okay 
that is a bedroom that's just off the main room and you can start to see the flames coming under and over the top of the door um the the, the doors to the bedrooms are not big thick doors you know they're not they're not just, um, just to remind people as well there's a lot of or well not alton stuff because he, he sleeps and all his stuff and he has a backpack on him but the guys don't <laughs> um so there's a lot of our gear in there too <laughs> so <laughs> there's a potential problem happening <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that's right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yep yep and yep it takes all, like all 10 our gold to yep. an armor. so uh but that's what you see um silly or so now looking back at my chart of barbarian i did not enter the thing i think i passed that save previously took me a while to bring it up and look through it <laughs> um alton says jump i think salir is still kind of just like looking around him at the bodies and at just everything and he's now he's way tired so he just kind of i think he just kind of like slowly walks to the edge of the roof and do, just do you go towards alton what is Salir? where is Salir doing because you're obviously on a circular roof yeah i think he'll go towards Alton. yeah that's fine yeah on outside of things and then i mean alton says jump he's going to just i mean suicide drop <laughs> Well, um, with 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 the second level of exhaustion, you won't quite make the edge of the roof. I have the second level. Yeah, because yeah, that's another level. Because I we didn't have that thing. I made a decision that you you. I didn't know when. I didn't level. know when I had the first level. Well, you get the first level because you're poisoned. Ah. Is that exhaustion or just the poison? How far is he from the edge? Can you can he push him off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Then never mind. Or pull him. Uh, then, him. well, I have forty feet of movement, so could I just action dash? Yes, you can okay. do. That's that's fine. So he's like yeah. almost crippled over, so and then just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's. I think it's more like he's walking Crawling. in slow. He's walking in slow motion, but his body's moving way faster than you like how yeah. the, like how vampires do in movies sometimes. Yeah. They walk uh, casually, but they're moving super freaking like, fast. <laughs> just just for explanation, the way I've done the poison is that it's like one level of exhaustion, but it only lasts for that hour. Got it. So when the poison when the poison wears off, you will go back to just being a single level of got it, got uh, exhaustion. Got it. Then that's cool. Yeah. I like that. Then he will simply fall off the roof. Okay. Alton? Yeah, Alton. Your friend falls off the roof? Alton will sort of <laughs> jump up <laughs> off the roof and uh, he will land on Salir, grabbing onto him, digging into him. Um, and feather falling him. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um... You are still stressed out from our last mm -hmm. thing, so make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> I like just gotta that. check what my con We're real good at these. Okay, seven. Ooh. Roll me a d100. The feather oh. fall goes off, so you're fine with yeah. the feather yeah, fall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Please remember, I only have 11 health. Mm. <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pizza. Uh, 49. I imagine it to be like a small stop in the air, and then almost like, you know, there's Road Run Roadrunner movies. Shit. <laughs> I'm watching the DM yeah. while you're talking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what happens? You turn into a potted plant. How, 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 just so I know what's, what's going to happen is how, um, describe to me, you're on Salir's back. Salir's falling face forward. I, yeah, right, that's fine. You're I, on his I back. I jump out like, like, uh, like some feather, kind of a mean Featherfall. werewolf. How, how quickly do you fall with Featherfall? I need to know how high you are. Oh, oh no. Uh, 60, 60 feet. 60 feet. As around. well as, like, that's upon casting, but he would have fell 
probably more than that. So I don't know. You no, can. What did... Does it say sixty feet ar around? Does it? Yeah. But it's enough that you don't take damage. Uh, let me just put it into chat there. Because there's like there's yeah, like a uh, thing attached to it, right? I'll just put put it in chat and you can read it. Yeah, as long as the creature yeah. lands before the spell ends, right? So you land on the ground because you're only sixty feet up. So that's why I want to know is whether you're in the middle of the air or whether on you're the ground. On, on the yeah, ground. Yeah, and then what happens? And then a forty nine, you said. Yes. Um, Salir, I need you to make a DC fourteen dexterity save <laughs> as Alton belches out a 15-foot cone of biting insects from his mouth directly into the back <laughs> of your head. Yeah. Oh. Dexterity! What was the DC? 14. Oh, I rolled a 15. Uh, With disadvantage? Uh, I don't have it on saves. Oh no, you don't have disadvantage. You don't. <laughs> disadvantage on saves is like third-level exhaustion. And that's <laughs> so that is just like... <laughs> That's dark. Oh, yeah. We've had a strange. Mile. We've had a strange. You take 10, 10 points of piercing damage as these insects. Oh. <laughs> for for forty six uh, piercing damage. Uh, oh god! Really high. Wow. Is it halved because I passed the save? Yeah. Yeah. So twenty half to oh. ten. Oh. Oh. So you have one left. Oh no. I have one HP. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your turnover. Uh, it is the fire. Is it the ground crew? Isn't the ground crew and then fire? Oh, sorry, ground crew first. Yeah. yeah. Do any of the insects go in and like put out some fire? Or... No. 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 They're not they fire bugs. Fly. They just. They're fly. not wet insects. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it's fine. Ground crew, Mara. Garvin. Yeah. Does the. I mean, this place has a kitchen, right? Mm, has a bit of a kitchen, but yes. Nothing with water? Without having to roll, nothing with water of the size that's going to make any difference considering this, the noise of the fire above. Shit. You might get a few jugs of water. Hmm. Maybe even a barrel of water, but a single barrel of water is going to do nothing. Yeah. Uh. Shit. Mara's going to go and run to the reliquary, because I guess we have a reliquary. Mm -hmm. And she's going to pocket all of the reliquary into the bag of holding. Remember, oh, um, yeah. you have... There's a map that Squid made that you can have a look at if you want to... Yeah, 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 but I don't remember if it was... Reorient it reliquary. yourself. Well, I, I didn't. I didn't name. I didn't name anything. It's just. It's just a map. So the, what yeah. you're talking about is one of the wee antechambers off to the side. Do you have your bag of holding? Uh, yeah, it's the bank. It always sticks to the side. Oh no, no, no. That's no. What what Don Bro quite yeah. rightly says is, would you not have left that in your room? I, I didn't. don't think. I don't think Mara's first thought to fight off Drow would have been to pick up the bag of holding. You very clearly said you picked up your shield and your weapons. Okay, so she'll run up to the rooms then to get the bank. <laughs> um, as you try to get up the stairs, you are encounter a wall of flames. Now, again, roll made intelligence check. Mm. Let's there see. All our stuff. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, don't get intelligence destroyed. check. Yeah, that is a uh, 17. Okay, before you get too close to it, you know that you can continue, but this is definitely going to hurt you if you continue any further up the stairs into the Overgold suite. Yeah, I mean, I'm going after my room. I'm going for the, uh, the bag of holding. That's what I want. Yeah, but at the moment, you're still on the ground yeah, floor yeah, yeah. on the first. So you're going up into the overgold, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You move your full movement from where you are. You are about halfway up the stairs. Ooh, um, she, can I just... And... She cast resistance on herself? Because that's the highest level one I got. Mm -hmm. What does that do? Uh, you touch one willing creature. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Roll, add a d4 to saving throw. 
if it's choice. Okay. It's a cantrip. Yeah. And it's Swanaga. Yeah. You've run into flames, so there's no saving throw here. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that's six points of fire damage. Right, right. Yeah. And with that intelligence check, you know from that uh, map, if we look at it, you are coming up the stairs um, at, if, if you look at the second, the overgold level, the second level, hmm. that sort of L-shaped bit is the stairs where you come up. Okay. And your bedroom was the third one on the left. So you have about 90 feet to go in one direction and 90 feet back. Unless I take the window. <laughs> to the window, to the wall. No, because the window's the behind you. My... The wi- the wi- well, the window in the room, yes, I understand what you're saying. Yes, yeah. Indeed. Uh, right. <laughs> so, and, you're, and you're not even on that level yet. No, 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 yeah. She'll move move there. I mean, this... Yeah. She'll, she'll move over. Um, could, could Mara make an intelligence check to realize that magic items can't be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Unless uh, this one can get pierced. That's true. That one can. So, um, I, I class there. as far as Garvin's concerned, <laughs> oh no, poor dude. Make an intelligence yeah. check for Garvin. For Garvin, make That's it with disadvantage because it's Garvin. His oath woman just ran straight into the fire. Yeah. Is he going to uh, let her even go? That's the other thing. Uh. Oh. He probably okay, grappled so. her before she ran in. 18. Okay. Garvin is going to use his action. I'm taking over him for this. He's going to move up to you and grapple you. <gasps> Contested. <laughs> uh, which, which, which is which is fine. Um, for me. Because I'm guessing you go roll Garvin. I doubt it's going to be that much of a contest. You, really. you can <laughs> you can choose to use athletics or um, acrobatics. Acrobatics. Mm. Garvin's stronger than Salir, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Garvin, Gar- Garvin rolled a twenty-one. I rolled a uh, eighteen. Ooh, good roll. <laughs> it's still pretty good. But yeah. You are you are grappled. Uh, you are both. Halfway up the stairs. Mara tears. Garvin around. has run into the flames for you. Uh, and he takes nine points of burning damage. A mere damage. mortal a mere mortal man would have not have been unable to stop you. But instead we have and, and he's yes. he's just going You can't, Mara, you, you you will die going up there. Listen and he's sort of pointing up to you and, and, and he's almost sort of he's grappled you and he's almost sort of doing that sort of not like slapping you, but you know, sort of yeah. Slightly on the cheek, as if to say, you know, think, think, think. Yeah. How and much damage? Ha- Nothing up there is worth your death. What kind of state is Mara in? Garvin, Garvin took nine damage. Nine, yeah. How was Mara reacting to all that? I mean, they're both bloodied again. Not, not. That's not what I mean. Don't no, mean... no, yeah, but that's what I'm. Mara is probably like in 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 this fucking inferno is all that work it. In that inferno is the work of staring down a dragon, fighting the hags, fighting goblins and orcs, and a beholder in a mountain. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> guiding the dwarves from that, uh, from the holding to the safety of Redwall. All of the result is now in that fire. Uh, uh, or rather, all the monetary result of that is in that fire. <laughs> yeah, that's a so, good money. Money and uh, yeah, so it's not her turn, but she's definitely trying to get at it because okay. so much went into all of that, and 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 it's beginning like all of that wealth disappears in her mind, at least. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Um, now it's the buyer's turn. You all start to hear cracking and creaking, and it's quite clear that some major structural timbers are starting to be affected. There's nothing collapsed, but you can tell that there is there is serious structural damage starting to to happen. 
Foundational um, beans. And with that, it is Alton's turn again. And on the start of Alton's turn, he's still on Salir's back and he makes another belch and another... Can I redirect my belch? Can I move my head? Um, the, the way I've written it is it exactly <laughs> okay. says is you belch out 15 foot cone of biting insects in front of you at the start of the next 1d4 turns. But am I am I below him? No, he's on your back. Start right, I'm, I'm face down on the ground. Yeah. And I I'm, would I'm... see he's face down on your back. Oh, oh. oh okay. Um... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've got you've got a deck save. I have one HP. Alright, okay. Well, <laughs> Al Alton, you belch again and you feel that the uh, I rolled a two, so this is the second one. You feel that the effect that has happened on you has passed. Um but in the course of it, you see uh, Salir pass out in front of you in another sure. cloud of biting insects. Have we reached the ground? Yeah. yeah. Did, it, that's why I asked the last turn. It's only 60 yeah. feet high, so yeah. you've reached the, 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 the ground in a single movement. Okay. Um, Is there anyone on the ground to see that you are vomiting insects on Salir's <laughs> <laughs> neck? I think only you would be able to you, you'll be able to see. Away. You'll be able to see this. Yeah, you'll have seen them jump past you and land. So you'll have seen this. Sir. <laughs> Jesus. Alton sort of uh, he'll, he'll he'll get up and sort of wearily sort of slap his head. <laughs> have a look at Samir. Pick 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 sort of mosquito sort of with yeah. his teeth and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I know I'm not under the effect of the burping thing, but I'm still under the effect. Presumably, mm -hmm. okay. Um, I think he will sort of make a motion of like, no, 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 oh, oh, <laughs> like, uh, um, and he, yeah, he'll Oof. healing word, he'll Oof. healing word you at second mm -hmm. level because that's his last spell. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah, but that's that's all he can do. Is that his last spell? Is it? Yeah. I need you to make another. No. Let me just double check. Yes, it is my last spell. Um. Do, okay. What am I doing? What do you want me to do first? Do you want me to make? Well, save first him? heal me. Heal, 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 heal him first. Heal him first. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Before you murder me, I would like to. I'd like to be able to have some death things. You know, I'm like a. I'm like my own walking deck of many things right now. So oh, <laughs> this is working out brilliantly. For you. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's, it's the chaos. I love it. I hit you for seven plus your wisdom, wisdom modifier. modifier. Well, if your bard would be charisma. No. Oh, charisma. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah, of course. Seven plus five, uh, so eleven. You. Twelve. Twelve. Sorry, I don't do math or math. <laughs> Get away from math, kids. And no, now no, we make no. the constitution saving throw. Oh, I'm deliberately not. I'm deliberately not telling you the DC, but every time you fail one, the next one's harder. Mm. Uh, this uh, con sixteen. Roll me a D one hundred. No. <laughs> Hopefully a healing one. Hopefully something that heals people around you. Some of, some of them are beneficial. Yeah. Yeah, but he became like, oh. Oh. 49. Okay. 49. Is it? Yeah. 49! Oh. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh. Wow. You know, what, you know what 49 what? means? I do. I do, actually. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm going been, to yep. see. Oh, well, I, t I tell you what, I'll give you another. I'll give you another constitution saving throw to see that you can feel it coming and redirect your your breath. Yeah, please, please do. <laughs> I can survive one more, maybe. <laughs> no. Four. Oh. Four, Salir, Salir gets that. Uh, you're prone, so this will be at disadvantage. Yeah. Was it a ranged yeah. attack, yeah. though? No, it's a dexterity saving throw. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Well, I rolled two fives. Can I, can I say at least oh. that the insects are moths? Can I just say that? <laughs> it's, it specifically says biting. 
They're um, biting money. maths. From <laughs> uh, 14. So six. six. Okay. They eat all of uh, his clothing. He becomes completely you naked. You take 13 piercing damage. And go down in another cloud of biting insect. And I think as you look down, Alton, you see Salir's face, his back of his neck, is just covered in welts of sores and bites as he's... You know, and, and I know is you're he, sort of joking he, with moths, but it's, some of them are... Uh, like healing or anything? No. Well, and in my mind, it's like every time the wave happens, it's covered in bites, and then the vampirism restores it back to pristine and then another wave of bites and then it restores it back to I think, I, I think as this horrible as it you you feel this horrible sort of crawling in your gullet and it's it's for the second before you belch it's like your insides are scratching you like all of these creatures are in your own belly and they're coming up through He's your esophagus. fucking green miling all over the back of Salir. Yeah. And when you cough it's there's beetles and centipedes oh. and mosquitoes oh. and flies and oh. wasps. But I think it's just like it, speaking, all of it's so nasty. Speaking to that imagery, Sirik will it will be so obvious to him that I'm not doing this shit on purpose. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no 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 no. He healed him. Healing and then, healing him. <laughs> you know, so and and now you will you will hear you won't understand what he's saying, but you can assume he's swearing in some language you don't understand. He's sort of stamping his feet and like punching himself. Well, Salir doesn't hear fuck all because he's like. I think. Oh, Sirik does. Sorry, sorry. I thought you were. Oh, I see. Sirik. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like he, whatever. If people can see it on the ground, he'll be able to see it. You, you do have an action and a bonus action. I think he'd just start patting himself. Look down his top. Oh, and he'll get a healing potion. Just dig it in. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Might be a bonus action. Yeah. So it's a regular healing potion. I can't remember what that does. 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 so plus 2. So you can roll that yourself. Okay. Oh, my God. You what still have your out? movement. Are you going to put any distance? I'm going to run away from Salir. Um, <laughs> oh, so I, I, I'm, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to back away. I, what do I see? What do I see? Where you we are? see piles of dead insects around. Because yes, they've, yes. they've just like come out bitten and sort of things. So there are, there are literally piles and piles of dead insects. Um, you. Well, give me a perception check first. Let's see how much detail you see. 15. You can see what you saw from the roof like there is now very vigorous flames pouring out of any of the broken windows a couple of other windows further around seem to have shattered under the heat because a couple of the bedroom doors were ajar so the flames have just gone in to some of the other bedrooms um black smoke billowing um you can start to see that um, the shield coins that are around are sort of shouting. They're all, none of them seem to really know what to do because they're not a fire brigade. Some of them are attending to injured or fallen comrades. Um, a few of them seem to be sort of throwing or, or firing arrows at some of the retreating drow, but all of the combat that you can see from, from your vision has ended. Anton's going to spend the rest of his turn muttering at Salir. Mm -hmm. Salir. How does Salir feel that now three <laughs> breaths of horrendously painful biting insects have washed over you, seemingly from your companion? I... Uh, if I had... Do I... I will leave this to you. Do I need to roll something for having been unconscious two more times? No, 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 because that okay. was only about, that was only about rages Lost, and oh, yeah, and stuff right. like that. Yeah, so no, that's fine. Uh, I mean, I'm fairly certain he will look like death. <laughs> I'm fairly certain he is the epitome of just gaunt, hollow eyes, <laughs> just life. I don't even think like he like fully registered everything that went on. 
other than just pain behind him because he didn't even see Elton. He didn't know. He also wasn't like entirely sure Elton was like on his back. He was exhausted and just fell off a roof. <laughs> Elton is <laughs> away from you and he's he's busying himself like putting like tight yeah. some piece of rags or something around his mouth. I think he's going to, like, just flip over onto his back and look up at the burning building and just kind of just lay there and watch. Mm -hmm. And you see exactly what um, Alton saw, like, the the flames pouring out of the building. It seems like a conflagration that will be very difficult. It's, It's probably now more about containment than stopping it. Yeah. Yeah, he's just laying on the ground, staring at the burning building, and probably nothing going through his mind. He's just done. He's done with tonight. Okay. Um, Sarek in that case. What, yes. What, what, you've seen some really weird things in the last sort of half a minute. You've seen one of your companions suck all of the blood out of your fallen, <laughs> fallen <laughs> foes and create rain out of it. You're covered in some of that blood. And then you have seen another one of your companions belch biting insects on three separate occasions. <laughs> I honestly think Sirig is actually more concerned right now with the fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but before coming here, we were down into a hag hole. And we saw some messed up stuff there as well. So you did a bell, insect belching. Elton is that's maybe he ate something bad. I <laughs> I, I, I honestly can't, I honestly can't tell. He maybe he found something down there that it shook down or. Love it. Yeah. So no, I think Elton also took I think... on a different form though, like. Wouldn't have seen that before. His hair got longer, and his nails grew longer, and his teeth got longer. Well, just true. Just for brevity. Yeah, but there is. I agree. I, but... Listen, you, you're right beside the fire. You'd be definitely listening to their hearing. Yeah, so I, I think my main concern right now will be to get off the building as fast as mm-hmm. possible. I'll worry about things and ask questions later. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> that that makes no problem at all. So are you going to use your action to double move? So you've got 80 feet? Yes. So you'll be 30, 40 feet to get to the bottom of the building, and then you can use another 40 feet to get 40 feet away from the bottom of the building. Mm, yeah. If uh, I don't know. How close am I to Slayer? I suppose he is just... I mean, you, you can you can basically walk past them if you wanted to. Depends on, you, but on that yeah. path that you have described, you can choose to walk right past them. Uh, is there a possibility for me to, I don't know, drag him just a bit away from the building? I would say one? you you can definitely do that, but it'll half your movement, so you'd be moving twenty feet away from the building instead of forty. Mm. That's fine. That's fine. As long as I can. I, I, help, unless help Salir dragon. would resist, that would be the only thing. If, if, if Salir doesn't, yeah, I didn't think so. But I obviously got to give you the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I think he sees. Um... I think he sees Siric go by him, and only his eyes turn to look at the spider, and he's like, <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> and you, you, you know, it's, you, you've got yeah. good, good knowledge. It's him because yeah. you, you saw, I saw him, him transform, form. and I've seen the scales portions of his shape yeah. so he's just like and you have over. seen this exact shape as yeah, well yeah 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 it's like just mm. whatever <laughs> um, mm. so we return to mara and garvin yes in the burning stairway yes and garvin is grappling you and pleading with you to come back outside and give up the building and its contents. Uh, Mara will try to resist the grapple. Mm-hmm. You again. Uh, you can use athletics or acrobatics. Right. Twenty-four. Yeah, he wins. Uh, <laughs> that's an action. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then she can't do anything else. She's probably just. Noticing that she can't 
break herself free, she'll probably just be gesturing towards the fire. Kind of... Just... Garvin's going to use his action to try and drag you away from the fire. Are you going to resist him or not? No, I think she's kind of realized that it doesn't really matter what she does. She's not going to get into the fire. Okay. She, she would just try to reach for the fire. With her yeah, hand. I understand the the, the, paint, the picture you're painting. So Garvin's yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of dragging you away, and you're like, no, no, I must, you know, my things and all oh, yeah. the important stuff. And he's like, no, don't be stupid. Um, I'm glad because you were very close to actually bursting into flames there, because <laughs> um, you literally ran into fire. Like your hair was about to go on fire and stuff. And and you were only you wearing didn't tell me the hair. hair. <laughs> <laughs> If you if you'd ended hey. another turn in there, that would have started to go all shades of wrong. Um, <laughs> so he he drags you. You're still in the antechamber of the the temple downstairs. There is no fire here, but you can start to see like smoke sort of sort of spewing out uh, of the ceiling as you're looking at it, the floor from above. There is fire starting to pour down the stairway. Um, make an intelligence check. Right. That is the garbage. It's fine. There we are. <sighs> ah, yes. Six? You don't know your shit. Okay. <laughs> Since we are on the bottom floor, does Mara have the ability to... Because I'm guessing that Garvin is just keeping her away from the stairs, or is he still holding her? Oh, he is not releasing this grapple, so you are okay. long, long away from the building. Uh, is she able to grab something, any religious item on the way out? Um, I would say there'll be some sort of maybe some stat small statuary or candlesticks with uh, the symbols of Joachim or um, in them. That's right. Joachim, Joachim Phoenix, which you are. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. 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 All of I his keep movies. Joachim instead of Joachim. <laughs> um. So yes, minor stuff because all the good stuff's up the other end. Yeah. Um, if again, the picture I'm painting is downstairs is relatively safe at the moment, but it won't be soon. You may be able to persuade Garvin to come go and help you get some stuff from the wreck gallery because it's yeah. not on fire at the moment. Yeah. It's just stopping you from going upstairs and getting your stuff from the bedroom. So I, I guess Mara will kind of have her face sort of covered in sort of like soot and slightly fired hair just yeah, sort of... and, and like the edges of your your eyebrows and your and your yeah, hair yeah. is all sort of that frizzy way if you've caught it in a fire and she would kind of just look crazy eyed and just point towards the reliquary just at least help me get something from the reliquary and um yeah roll roll persuasion check but i'll give you advantage because it is garvin uh you're gonna have to roll really low because he rolled a two uh persuasion yes yes so that is a 26 oh <laughs> that's a mismatch now and he's like <laughs> right 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 we're, we're okay as long as you promise that you're not going up those stairs but I, i'll help you carry some stuff here she'll give a very painful look to the stairs but concede and and they'll go um, so he, he, he lets you go, um, and um, you can, um, well, you can use your movement if you want to move another 30 feet up the path. Sure. Okay. Um, now it is the fire. It, it continues as much. There's not, it's, it, it doesn't, it's, you know, it's not stopping and it won't stop, but um it, there's no particular um, escalation at this moment in time. Um, and we come back to Alton.
At this moment in time, Salir, Garvin, uh, eh, sorry, Salir, eh, Siric, and Alton have no idea where Mara and Garvin are. I haven't seen them since inside the building, so... <laughs> you you, you, you yeah. did hear her shouting, fire, fire, there's a fire in the oh. temple of Joaquin from over the edge of the the building when you were all still on the roof. Yeah. Um, but that's all you heard. No, no, you're you're probably it's, it's 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 on the the sort of the sort of front quadrant. So you're you're only like twenty or thirty feet away from the front door. Who gets yeah, Siric and and Salir? Yeah, they're they're probably because you went away from Salir, so Siric's probably now dragging Salir towards yeah. you. So you were, at the end of your last turn, you are 40 feet away from uh, Salir, and now they're 20 feet. Yep, that's fine. That's no problem. Do they have more bugs coming out? No, I only rolled a 1. It's 1d4, oh. so I only rolled a 1 the last time. I rolled a 2 a two the first time, and I rolled a 1 the second time. Oh, he's <clears> running <throat> and just making a coat of insects everywhere. Yeah. It's <laughs> brilliant. I love it. Um, so you, what you'll be doing is, if we're looking at the picture, you'll be sort of running along that wee curtain wall towards, so you're probably now at the little gate um, that's shown on the picture. Um, just sort of there. Whereas Salir and Sirik are sort of over here. Yeah, just reaching the gate, probably. Yeah. Um, do you want to say anything, or...? That's fine. Um, well, it was Sirik, but we'll skip him and go to you, Salir. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just going to pass on my turn for little while. I mean, Sillier has nothing planned. He's just gonna watch. I just watch. realized I was, <laughs> I just dragging realized me to I was safety. muted. The whole He's, just gonna, watch, he's just gonna watch the building burn down. Alright, okay. That's fine. Um, I'll come crazy back to fire. You, you, you guys, unless you do anything crazy, are safe. Um, yeah. Mara and Garvin? Right. We're trying to grab what we can reasonably grab from the reliquary well i i i've left this up to you and I, i've not sort of told you before so tell me what sort of items are normally in the reliquary of the temple of joaquin um like so you tell me what there is right i would say that there would be books documents there would be specific like minted gold coins probably one or two busts of certain priests that think that they're very important or uh characters probably pieces of art uh one or two robes maybe uh i mean you know that garvin yeah. is very strong so he will be able to carry a fair amount not bulky yeah. things but no no yeah um what i'll do is we'll, we'll not bother the 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 good people of the stream and and the other players with, with this at the moment but what yeah. you can do for me is you can give me a list of things that you want to save but sure you again give me an intelligence check right Come on, high number. Thirteen. Right, that's enough. It was it was a low one. You think that you can spend about thirty seconds sort of searching, taking stuff, but yeah, yeah. you know that much longer than thirty seconds is when there starts to be a bit of danger, um, because you can see, as I say, like smoke starting to pour through from above, and not that not that way where it's smoke seeping through, but. That way, I don't know if you've ever seen like um, a really um, sappy piece of um, wood when it's starting to uh, heat up and it, you get that psh, sort of spray of smoke. So yeah. you can tell with that intelligence check, you know, it's it's not the fire above that's seeping through. That means there is a lot of heat directly above you that's starting to affect the floorboards of which is your ceiling, um, yeah. and it eventually will crash in. Okay, so I will, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll save as much as I can. Anything that looks yeah. important, mostly books. 
that's fine. Would it be Mara's intelligence to push that envelope that I've said with your intelligence check on that? Yeah, no, yeah, like literature. Uh... No, no, when I say push the envelope, I mean, um, would she try and extend the time that she's there to find and, and think other things, or will she actually leave when she actually thinks it's 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 time to leave? Uh, no, yeah, this this is she she will probably push the envelope, yeah, because right. this 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 stuff is harder to replace. Okay, that is fine. Um, in that case, I think we should probably have our break just mm -hmm. now and oh. uh, resolve this after the the time because there will be a few rolls to see whether the you make it out safely or not. Yeah. So if I roll a new character. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll um, back thank in. you for watching. I uh, know there's a few of you there, and yes. uh, we'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes. See you. Bye. Bye. See you then.